Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. Many of the Windows tips I post involve editing the Windows registry. And in most cases, the first thing I do is explain how to create a backup of the registry before proceeding on to the actual tip. Why? Because the registry is an extremely important database that contains all types of info and settings that control how your PC's Windows installation works, including how, or even if, the machine will boot up correctly after you turn it on. It occurred to me earlier today that I should probably make the steps for backing up and restoring the registry a tip in its own right. Luckily, it's very easy to make a backup of the Windows registry. First, click the Start button. Now type the word red, regedit into the search box, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Now select Registry Editor from the menu. Answer yes in response to the user account control dialog. And there's the registry on the screen. Registry editor on the screen, I should say. Now to create the backup file of the registry, click File, Export. Now select where you want on, on the hard drive to save the, the backup file to. I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Now you need to give it a name. I'm just going to say number one for the sake of simplicity. Click Save. Now you can see the newly created registry backup file is on the desktop. Note that it ends with the .reg file extension. That makes it easy to identify it as a registry backup file. That's all there is to making a backup of the registry. Restoring the registry from a backup file is just as easy. With the registry open on the screen, click File, Import. Now navigate to the registry backup file that you just created, or the one that you just you wish to restore from, and again it will have the extension .reg, and double click on it. Again, answer yes to the user account control dialog. Now you'll get a warning that uh, adding information can, in, can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. And basically it's just wanting to make sure that you want to continue with the registry edit. Click, or with the registry restore, excuse me. Click yes. Now it says the keys and values contained in that registry backup have been successfully added to the registry. You have now just restored the registry from the backup that was created earlier, or from the one that you chose, if you have multiple backups. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to backup the Windows registry before making changes to it, as well as how to restore it if something goes wrong. Now I'll just finish with this. Restoring the registry from a backup from within Windows will fix most issues that were caused by a bad registry edit. But on rare occasions, a newly created registry error will be so severe that you won't even be able to boot the PC back up into the West, uh, back up to the Windows desktop. I'll be recording another video soon that explains how to re restore the registry manually when you can't get the machine to boot up into Windows. If you found this tip useful, please help me out by hitting like and subscribe. Thanks a bunch.